Margaret, thank you so much for joining us here at the PLSA Investment My Conference. Pleasure. Great to see you. The key topic is mm. diversity at this conference, right. diversity of perspectives, mm. lending itself to diversity of funds, if you like. Right. Why do you think that's important? Because this yeah. is an absolute hot topic for you, isn't yeah. it? Well, I think the crucial thing here is to recognize that diversity has nothing to do with political correctness. I think the impression that that's what we're talking about is really unhelpful. Diversity, to my mind, is about different mindsets, experience, ways of thinking, ways of noticing what's going on in the world. And all of the research shows that if you really want to get outstanding decisions and outstanding foresight, you need diversity. Now, I think that's a lot harder than it sounds, right? Because what does that mean? There's no point getting a lot of diversity and then having everybody think and behave the same way. So it requires quite a lot in terms of cultural shift and thinking shift to recognize that conflict is how organizations think. And if you don't have that, then you're not thinking well enough. So you should have people around you that challenge you. You should. And, you know, I've spent 10 years of my life running software companies. Um, it, it's, it's quite hard to get challenged, right? Because most people are brought up to think there's a right answer and they want to try and figure out what is it. And generally they think it's whatever the boss thinks. So it takes quite a lot to create an environment in which people feel safe enough to think for themselves and where it's understood that the arguments they present aren't political attacks, they're a gift. Especially, I suppose, in an industry like this, which has such responsibility to, to right. people saving for, for their Absolutely. pensions, they don't want to step outside the norm, if you like. Yeah. Well, I think there is always a gravitational pull to the norm. Um, and I think also that you know, we are brought up at school to believe there's a right answer, and the clever people are the ones who get the right answer. But the truth of the matter is in highly dynamic markets of the kinds that all of you that work in, um, there are many answers. There are many ways to address a problem. And there's a huge advantage in having the capacity, the intellectual and cultural capacity to explore those. So diversity to you means uh, differing opinions, differing age groups, different mm -hmm. genders, mm -hmm. racial backgrounds. It's, it's a massive broad spectrum. Yeah, different experience, um, different ongoing learning. One of the things I think is really crucial is that in any line of work, you have to keep learning. And I was absolutely devastated the other day when I was having lunch with about six CEOs and we were talking about reading. And it became clear that probably half of them don't. So they're retreading old information. Well, that's the opposite of diversity, right? That's concentrating your risk in a very narrow boundary of information and experience. So there's plenty to learn from the younger generation mm. in an industry where they're catering to the older generation, if you like. Well, I think there's a lot to learn from every generation, from every way of thinking, from every background. Um, I don't buy into this idea, you know, that the millennials are these kind of uniquely gifted tech kids and the rest of us can all go through ourselves on the scrap heap. Um, I think the important thing is having a really broad spectrum of experience, expertise, know-how and thinking styles. And it's only with that that you can have the quality of debate that surfaces opportunities and risks and allows you to make a hypothesis, which is what every decision is fundamentally, that is reasonably sound. You've also described willful blindness. This yeah. is a key topic of yours yeah. as well. And, and that's something where you uh, do see something that's wrong and you don't speak out. Yeah. Well, you know, almost all the institute, well, almost all the institutional failings we've seen in the last 10 years, whether it's banks and CDOs, whether it's Volkswagen, General Motors, Rotherham, Mid Staffordshire, whichever one you want to focus on, the trajectory is always the same which is the failing occurs, everybody says we had no idea, then they say there were a few bad apples, then it turns out everybody knew, and then it turns out that either nobody spoke up or the one or two people who spoke up were either not listened to or thrown out. In other words, those organizations, every single one of them had the opportunity to do better. They had the in intelligence inside their organizations to do better. They just didn't know how to use it. 
So how do you not become the next one of those organizations? Yeah. What does, has to be in place? Well, I hope that's what every company in the world is thinking about now, because I don't see any reason to imagine anybody is free of risk. So I think they have to think about a climate of safety. How do you create an environment in which it's safe to ask hard questions, where it's safe to bring controversial data? Um, how do you create a diverse enough workforce that people will see different things? How do you build trust that people will share that information and glean insights from it in different ways, in different contexts? And given that uh, to date we have mostly built organizations characterized by enormous degrees of internal competitiveness, this is a profound sea change. It means much of what we've taken for granted in the past in terms of assessment, ranking, rewarding is going to have to go. And in very real terms, in an industry like this, the reward of, of, of is money. You know, that's the yeah. bottom line, isn't it? So how do you change that thinking in an industry like this? Well, that's a very, very long conversation. <laughs> um, I think the rewards have to be more than money because if they are only money, that's all anybody's going to think about. And all of the research into money suggests that when people are thinking about money, the one thing they are not thinking about is other people. So I think you have to think hard about what are the other cultural, social rewards of working together. I know Alain de Botton says something about when you see a man driving down the street in the Ferrari, you should actually feel sorry for him because he's had to have this reward in yeah. life, you know. And yeah. that's a kind of similar thinking. How else do you appreciate what you've achieved? Yeah, and I think, you know, there's some good work being done on what are the other rewards that people really value. Time, obviously, is really fundamental, right? Anybody can make more money. Nobody can make more time. So giving people time is a fantastic reward, both because they appreciate it and the organization gets the huge reward of somebody whose mind has had time to wander, to collect new information, and is rested instead of burned out. So I think, actually, for me, one of the key insights about any organization is how does it spend its time? And my experience and my research shows most organizations do it very, very badly. But you also say this isn't a slacker's charter either. Right. No, I think, you know, if you really believe in, in hiring a diverse workforce and creating an environment where there can be a lot of discussion and debate, that's tough. It's intellectually tough. It's socially very demanding. It demands tremendous skills of negotiation and listening. Um, and it's harder than just thinking you're the bee's knees. But it's also safer, it's smarter, it's much more responsive to the outside world. And I think if you're up for it, it's a lot more fun. So lots more fun. You're about to speak to this audience. What mm. message do you hope they walk away with? Recognize when somebody argues with you, it's a gift. And don't ignore it, cherish it. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Great to talk to you. My pleasure, thanks a lot.